Today we pause as a nation, we gather as a state, we stop as a Queensland Police Service, but in all those things we sit today with the Arnold family and the McCrow family. We sit with Judy McCrow, daughter Samantha, and Wayne McCrow, who is online in New South Wales, as we honour their daughter, Constable Rachel McCrow. Today we also sit with the Arnold family, and to Terry and Sue, and your family. Our hearts go to both of you. Today's funeral service is a paradox as we honour two outstanding officers in their service to their community and outstanding members of the Queensland Police Service, but it is also a time when we honour two outstanding individuals and we give thanks for their lives as we honour them today. As you will see, ladies and gentlemen, Matthew, are so Matthew and Rachel are side by side today. They're worthy of equal honours. They work together, they serve their community together, and sadly they died together on the 12th of December. So as work colleagues, it is fitting that this service is conducted side by side together. So on behalf of the Arnold family and on behalf of the McCrow family and on behalf of the Queensland Police Service and the Commissioner Katarina Carroll, thank you for taking the time to come and pay your respects or watch online today. It is my profound honour to speak on behalf of my dear friends, the beautiful Arnold family. It is impossible for words to do justice to the brave, loyal and kind man that was Matthew Joseph Arnold. It is overwhelming to see just how many lives he touched and how many lives were made brighter having known him. We know that if Matt were here, he would be honoured to see such amazing support from everyone in the community and the Queensland Police Service. The police truly were a second family to Matt, and we know he would be so appreciative of everything they have done for us during this devastating time. We knew from a young age that Matt would go on to dedicate his life in the service of others. As a triplet, Matt was the older brother by just a few minutes, but this made him no less of a big brother to his siblings. He was also a protector, a leader, and a big brother to all those who knew him. He was a big man with an even bigger heart, so filled with love for everyone around him. At school, Matt was a role model for everyone, whether it was captaining a sports team, acting as a peer mentor for younger students, coaching or leading school camps, he inspired greatness in those around him. Matt's smile and charisma were his best tools and he used them relentlessly. He realised there were two ways to get through high school. The first option was dedication to study. The second was charm. He chose the latter. Such a broad, cheeky smile always got him out of trouble, particularly during parent-teacher interviews. As Matthew was about to graduate from school, it was customary for the Year 12s to receive letters from their parents containing fond memories and proud moments. In Matthew's letter, it read, you have been blessed with height and people will have to look up to you during your lifetime. The important thing is to be the kind of man that makes them want to. Nearly 10 years later, we can now say with certainty that Matthew took this advice to heart. 
What we've come to realise since his passing was that Matt excelled in positions where he was able to work with others and grow from the experience. Whether this was through competition on the sporting field or working with his family in the police service, Matthew was a leader and an inspiration in environments where he was surrounded by those he loved. Other words written to Matt in his year 12 letter included, Matt, you have an incredible life ahead of you. Make your life whatever you want it to be. Find your passion, the thing that makes your heart sing, and then follow that path to wherever it leads. Matt was so proud to be a police officer, and it was clear he found his true passion and purpose. We are so proud of the man he became. Matt, you deserved so much more from the public you lived to protect. You are a hero and will never be forgotten. May your name and memory never leave the mind of others. We love you always. We love you forever. I will leave you with a quote directly from Matt from a message he wrote in reply to his parents' Year 12 retreat letter. Matt wrote, Thank you for everything. I may be gone someday, soon perhaps, but just know that I will never leave you. I will cherish every moment we've had together in my heart forever. Vale Constable Matthew Arnold, son, brother, friend, police officer. Good morning. I stand here today as a representative of multiple families in grief, Rach and Maddie's immediate family, their family in blue, and a community both in shock and in mourning. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mel, and it is both a privilege and an honour to be able to stand here and tell you about my mate, Rachel. Rach was so much more than the uniform she so proudly wore. She was a daughter, a sister, a friend, a colleague, and an amazing mum to her beloved four-legged Archibald. Family was everything to Rach, and she was everything to them. Rach was simply one of a kind. She could literally light up any room on the darkest of days with her beautiful, infectious smile and those pearly white teeth. She was the kindest and most po positive person I know. She had the purest of souls and the warmest of hearts. Rach was the very essence of compassion and selflessness which are two of the characteristics that made her such an incredible police officer and an even better friend. Behind all of that was this cheeky larrikin who loved to laugh, loved a good prank, and loved a good meme, often at our expense. There will never be enough words to truly express how amazing she was or how lucky we all were to have crossed paths with her. To Rachel's... <laughs> Sorry, to Rachel's brothers in blue, who showed an enormous amount of courage to go in and bring her out. Thank you for not leaving our sister behind. And to Rachel's remaining brothers and sisters in blue, I know she would be proud of you for continuing to kid up and show up to protect the community in your efforts to make the world a better place. For every bit of evil in this world, Rach, more than anyone, would be reminding us that there are still good people who need our help. Rach, I'm so proud of you for the courage you displayed in your final moments 
and for being the fighter that you are. I'm so sorry that I wasn't there for you when you needed me the most. That is something that will forever haunt me. Thank you for coming into my life and impacting it in such a beautiful and positive way. I'm a better person for having known you and I hope you knew how much I loved you. I take comfort in knowing you'll continue to have my back up there and I'll see you in those pearly white teeth again one day. How lucky are we to have had someone that makes saying goodbye so hard. Heaven has truly gained an angel. Fly high, beautiful girl. With honour and courage you served. It is with honour that I stand here as a fellow member of the Townsville Academy in Take 44 and as a loving friend of Constable Rachel McCrow. Rach started her policing career at the Townsville Police Academy in January 2021. Rach was a living recruit at the luxury accommodation that is the Bissell Lodge. <laughs> and Rach was stuck with us for 24 hours a day for six months until she marched out with incredible pride as a sworn police officer in June 2021. Rachel exceeded every benchmark in every aspect of academy life. She achieved excellent results in academic testing. She was dedicated to physical fitness and fierce in a wrestle. <laughs> but for every drop of sweat Rach put in for herself, she genuinely would put 10 in for the team. Rach organised group runs and early morning beep tests for those that were struggling with their fitness. She volunteered as a driving instructor, volunteered at a charity swim for multiple sclerosis research, and volunteered selling raffle tickets at the Cowboys House boarding school parading around Cowboys Stadium like an absolute fool. Rach provided study sessions to recruits who needed it. Everything was done in such a genuine and loving way, and Rach saved me and Nath multiple times by giving us her study cards the day before the exam. <laughs> Fresh out of the academy, Rach was posted to Dolby Police Station, and from there continued to serve in Queensland's southwest. With the majority of intake 44 up in Townsville being posted to the far north of Queensland, I know a lot of 44 regret losing contact with Rach as they started their own policing career. But 44 is here with you today, Rach. Burnsy and the team from Townsville have come down. The girls from Mackay are here. The lads from Cohen had to drive down. Kians, Charleville, Bamaga, Mount Isa, Aracoon, Rachel, you are truly the only person that could have brought us all together. You were the police officer that the world now so loudly demands. A copper who deals in fairness, respect and love. A copper who truly listens. A copper who deeply cares. A copper with a strong sense of justice and a copper who will fight to protect those they've sworn to serve. <clears throat> Rach, I, you spoke about a desire to work in child protection and youth justice. It would have been the first career step of many for you. I could see you achieving the rank of the officer that has supported your family with such beauty and vulnerability this week, the police commissioner. Judy, you raised Rach and Sam into such beautiful, strong and intelligent women. Rach was so proud of Mama McCrow. The world will know about the sacrifices you made to raise Rach into such a wonderful woman. Dr. Judy, being asked by you to speak today is the greatest honour of my life. Sam, Jess, Jade, Jake, Toy, Andy, thank you for taking me in and sharing your memories of Rach with me. You are all as amazingly beautiful as Rach described. The Blue family is forever here with you. Rach, you will forever mean so much to us. 
You were the linchpin holding our eccentric groups of recruits together. You were welcomed and then adored by every person in every group by just being you, the absolute goof that we love. Rach, you will forever mean so much to me. We are struggling, Rach, but we will continue to tell your story. We will tell of your dedication. We will tell of your laughter. We will tell of your warmth. We will tell with honour you served.